Hello and welcome to the next video, JSON parsing. This is where we're getting into the nitty gritty. In this video, we're going to be parsing down the JSON until we can eventually get to the image and the tweet URLs. And you'll find this isn't as straightforward as you think it might be. We've got to figure out if a tweet was retweeted or not in order to get those images. Within that, tweet might have multiple images, so we have to know about how to handle that situation as well. The ultimate goal is that we can have an array with all the tweet image URLs and also an array of tweet URLs so that we can show those images and if someone taps on one of those that we can get it to open to the correct page. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we've gone about the business of going and getting the appropriate detailed information for if someone has retweeted something that's going to have some media in it. We can find out the media URL which that is going to be where this media is located and it's also going to display an expandable URL which is if someone wants to go see that image in detail, more information about it, they can go dive in if they'd like to. So we're going to keep expanding on this, talk about how we're going to handle for tweets that are not retweets and all that good information. So let's go ahead and first just write some more code here. And let's, instead of just printing this, let's be saving this information. And basically what we want to do is we want to store all the URLs of the media files and we also want to store all the URLs of the tweets that are associated with them. So we're going to come up here to the top of our class and we are going to create two new properties. The first one is going to be something that we're going to call image URLs. Again, this is just a name I'm coming up with, but it's basically going to be an array of strings. So I'm going to go ahead and specify that this should be an array of string objects. And we'll go ahead and say that this is just an empty string for now. And we're also going to have a variable that's going to be tweet URL. So this is, is if someone wants to see in detail what this tweet is about, we can also go there as well. So we'll make those a string array. Great. So now that we've got that in place, those two things there, let's come back down and let's do the work of diving into here. So once we've gone ahead and gotten to this portion where we get to the media here, there's actually going to be, this gives us back an array of items because there might be more than one image connected with a tweet. And so this is where we need to go and do a little bit of a for loop. And in fact, what we're going to do is just like before where we had turned the JSON into an array, we're going to turn this into an array. So we're going to do a dot array on this. And to see if this exists, we're going to do it if let medias equal to this. And we'll go ahead and throw some curly brackets on there. And so now that we have this, this array of medias, we can say for media in medias, which this is basically going to loop through everything inside of that array. And now that we're at this level, then we can take a particular media and, you know, dive in to go get its specifics. And if we could bring back what we had printed out here, right, we were looking for the media URL and the expanded URL. So let's go first for this media URL. I'm going to copy that exactly, and we're going to say we want to pass in the key of media URL, and this should come back as a string. So let's do another if let here, and we're going to say if let media URL be equal to this. We'll go ahead and do that and specify that this should come back as a string. And if this does, in fact, this is when we'd want to add it to our array. And so if we scroll up to the top here, right, we have our image URLs, we're just going to simply append it. So we're going to say images URL dot append, and we want to append that media URL that we just grabbed. Okay, let me type that in, media URL. Excellent. And we want to do basically the exact same thing for the expanded URL. So we're going to go ahead and copy a lot of the same code that we have right here copy and paste that, but this time we are looking for the expanded URL. And so we're going to say if let expanded URL, for the actual variable name I'm going to keep this as expanded URL, uh, but we have to have this exact spelling when we're talking about the JSON side of, side of things, and rather than images URLs array, we want tweet URLs array. So we're going to change this to tweet URLs and we're going to append that expanded URL, okay? Now one thing I'd like to address here is that uh, we've got these warnings and that's because on these JSON objects we have to get the string value from that. So we're going to do a dot string on these, which gives us back a string optional. 
So we can actually go ahead and get rid of this as string. It just makes it a little bit redundant. And so same thing down here. We're going to do the dot string. And this if let is going to let us unwrap those values and get us back to where we were looking for. Okay. So let's go ahead and test and see if this works again. There's a little bit of an issue here because this doesn't deal exactly with tweets that have not been retweeted. But let's go ahead and see if we can't go through all this JSON that we parse. And then let's print out what we have inside of each of our arrays. So we're going to print out the images URLs. And let's also print out the tweet URL. There we go. Excellent. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and I'm going to go bring my simulator up here. Let's log in. Man, how many times have we done this, right? Authorize the app. Open the app back up. And there we go. Look at that. We've got things printed out here. This is great. This is looking really, really good. Okay. So, like I said, this works for retweeted tweets, but we also want to be able to handle just regular old tweets, right? And where there's not this retweeted status. And so what we're going to do here is as we're moving through, we want to do a little bit of a check. So I'm going to create a new variable that I'm going to call retweeted. And we're going to set this thing equal to false. So when we check and do this, where we say if let media is, you know, equal to this stuff, if this works out, this means that this is in fact a retweeted tweet. And so in that case, we're going to say retweeted is equal to true. And the reason that we're doing this whole check here is so that we can come down here and do a little check and say, if retweeted is equal to false, meaning that it's not a retweet, then we want to go ahead and, you know, do some work here about an original tweet. And it's basically the same thing as above, except we're just not looking for the retweeted status. And so we're in fact just going to copy what we have here. And usually when you're copy and pasting like this, this is a good time to tell you that you should make another function. That dry principle, don't repeat yourself. So let's go ahead and create a new function. We'll call this process URLs maybe. This function basically is just going to handle all the business of taking in some sort of array of JSON objects and working with them. So we're just going to copy this for loop here or cut it rather, paste it here. And this needs to take in medias, which is going to be of type array of JSON objects. So now inside of here, we can say process URLs. And this is where we can pass in medias, which is an array of JSON objects. Good. And then here inside of this, you know, if it is not a retweet, we're going to copy this code paste it and instead of doing the retweet status we are just simply going to get straight to the extended entities and do basically the exact same thing we can don't have to call this retweeted equal true stuff but let's go ahead and now run this hopefully we should see a bigger array of image urls and tweet urls now that we've done this so check and see that this works okay we'll authorize the app open it up. Great. And let's look down here. We didn't do an exact count before, but I can tell from the scrolling that this is definitely bigger than last time. So this is a great moment for us. Really, we have all these arrays now with, you know, the proper image URLs and links to those. And so the next step for us is going to be downloading these images and getting them to show up. And so we'll go ahead and talk about that in the next video.